It is an exceptional time to be a gamer, and there are so many great games being released right now. But what are the best and most interesting ones? What games are producing the biggest hype trains, and what big titles are set to release later in the year? All valid questions that we aim to answer with our list of the 12 hottest games in 2024. To start off our list, let's get the big one out of the way first. PAL World is an unprecedented and completely unexpected success. The game released in mid-January on PC and Xbox, and it has blown up in a manner that very few games can even hope to dream of. The game itself is a legally distinct monster collection simulation with elements of survival, base building, and even gunplay. The easiest way to describe PAL World is to call it Pokemon with guns, and this is where the legally distinct aspect becomes important. PAL World is surrounded by major controversy due to allegations of the use of AI in development as well as a clear likeness to the Pokemon franchise. However, it turns out that none of that matters because millions of players agree that PAL World is a superbly fun game that stands on its own merits. PAL World is a beautiful and quirky game that still holds the title of hottest game of 2024. Let's shift now from legally distinct to a game that seeks to reconnect with its roots while still boasting a very modern look and polish. The second game on our list is Prince of Persia The Lost Crown. Many older gamers considered the Prince of Persia IP to be a distant memory, but Ubisoft Montpellier seemingly pulled this game out of nowhere for a very smooth mid-January release. The Lost Crown is a true return to form, with its unique choice of Metroidvania-type side-scrolling action. This, coupled with the platform and puzzle elements we expect from a Prince of Persia title, makes for a very rememberable experience. To top it all off, the game's unique art direction and polish makes it possibly one of the most visually pleasing additions to this list. It appears 2024 is indeed a year of surprises for gaming. Have you ever wanted to be stranded in a creepy forest, left to fend for yourself and fight cannibals in glorious combat? That question pretty much sums up the full gameplay experience of Sons of the Forest. And while that might not sound appealing to everyone, there are a lot of gamers that want to live that power fantasy. Recently coming out of a healthy early access life cycle on PC, End Night Games Sons of the Forest has made quite the mark in 2024. It is simply an example of a survival, base building game done well. The creepy forest hides many mysteries, but it is also surprisingly tranquil, owing to the photorealistic style. A solid co-op experience also awaits players that choose to brave the unexplored recesses of the island with a little backup. All in all, Sons of the Forest manages to stand out in a release window where many hot games have stood out. What is the ultimate gaming fantasy? If your answer is to play as a godlike being, then we have an entry just for you. Black Myth Wukong is a game set to release in August 2024 on PC and consoles. You get to play as a character heavily based off Sun Wukong, the demigod protagonist from Journey to the West. Chinese developers Game Science have brought to life an incredible experience that borrows heavily from Chinese mythology and fiction. What player wouldn't want to command the shape-shifting powers of the Monkey King as they cut through hordes of enemies with his iconic bow staff and tackle souls like boss encounters? Black Myth Wukong is one of the most hotly anticipated games of 2024, and it is certain to leave a lasting impression on gamers, mainly due to the prospect of Chinese mythology getting the God of War treatment. Number 5 on our list is still creating waves. Helldivers 2 was released in early February on PS5 and PC. It is a third-person shooter in which a squad of up to four players faces off against an endless horde of alien insectoid enemies as they make a courageous stand against overwhelming odds. Indie developer Arrowhead Games really knocked it out of the park with this title. Players get to experience a wide array of environments as they unload their arsenal of deadly weaponry and fortifications against a diverse cast of enemy archetypes. To be clear, all the shooting and carnage should not take away from the fact that the visuals in Helldivers 2 are nothing short of breathtaking, but it's understandable that this fact would be missed due to a giant bug trying to rip the player's faces off. This game joins the likes of Pal World as a game that was skyrocketed in popularity by streamer interest in fulfilling gameplay. Halfway up the list and our next entry is the survival RPG created by Keen Games, Enshrouded. At this point, you should be aware that quite a few entries on the list are survival games with base building crafting elements, as that is one of the most popular genres of the current decade. While Enshrouded does indeed fit this mold, it does so with sheer competence and a fantasy twist. Players can join lobbies of up to 16 players to inhabit and shape the dangerous realm of Embervale as they fortify their bases and delve deeper into the mysterious fog called the Shroud. 
Sword and Sorcery is the flavor of the day when it comes to Enshrouded, and a slew of fantastical enemies are brought into vivid existence by the voxel art graphics and stylistic choices. This game is essentially what Valheim fans have been looking for in 2024. Number 7 on our list stands out as being unique due to its sharing the number in its title with its position on the list, as well as it being the only remake on the list. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is the second installment in a trilogy of games that aim to retell and expand on the most beloved title in the Final Fantasy franchise, Final Fantasy VII. It is no surprise that this game has generated an unusual amount of hype, just like the first installment of the trilogy did in 2021. Fans and newcomers alike will be delighted to have another chance to play as Cloud Strife and his motley band of eco-terrorists, Avalanche. Truth be told, the mix of real-time action and strategy gameplay plays second fiddle to the characters and story. Some of the more intense and emotional points of the original 1997 release are even more cathartic when fully realized with the hardware sported by the PS5. From one beloved game franchise to another, let's talk about our next entry, Dragon's Dogma 2. The original game released back in 2012 and became a cult classic like no other. Desperate cries for a sequel have been ongoing for 12 years at this point, and Capcom is answering them with a late March release this year. Being an action RPG, there are a plethora of options to choose from when it comes to customizing the Arisen, the player character. A wide array of companions or pawns are available to join players on their adventures through the dark and fantastical world. The fluid combat pits players up against iconic bosses and minions, and a fight against an ancient dragon is heavily foreshadowed. Whether it be to returning players or those wanting to jump on the hype train, Dragon's Dogma 2 will undoubtedly be another hot release for Q1 2024. Sticking with the theme of sequels, we come to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. This is the sequel to one of the most beloved RPG cult classics. It is slated to release later in 2024 on PC and consoles. This game is mired in controversy as it was initially intended to release in 2020, but has gone through some drastic changes. However, none of that matters because of the love that this IP receives. The game will allow players to assume the position of a vampire in one of the many clans that frequent the game's version of Seattle. Players will be able to uphold the secret knowledge of vampires hidden in society, or actively work to break the masquerade and expose vampire kind to the world. As an RPG, this game will allow players to build and customize their own vampires to their heart's content. Whether they operate in the shadows or flex their horrific blood and flesh-based magic, players will unleash their vampiric superiority sometime this year. It's all good and well to appreciate the advances in PC and console gaming, but it's important to remember that mobile gaming has also come a long way. One Punch Man World released at the end of January and has proven that anime tie-in games can be successful on the mobile platform. Developed by Crunchyroll Games LLC, One Punch Man World relives the story of the most absurd and overpowered superhero in fiction, One Punch Man or Saitama, a bald and terribly bland protagonist that defeats all his enemies in one single punch. While the premise of the story may sound dubious at best, it never fails to entertain the audience. Players can also play as some of Saitama's iconic allies in historic battles from the anime. All in all, an action-packed, hilarious experience that perfectly suits the canvas that is mobile gaming. Our penultimate addition to the list is a fighting game, a genre that is still very alive today but is often fondly remembered for its golden era in the late 90s and early 2000s. Tekken 8 is a return to form for the franchise. Flashy, complex combos, over-the-top characters and a willingness to delve into absurdity. Tekken 8 is a modern wonder, and it's no surprise that it has garnered more attention than most of the recent entries in the franchise. Many fan-favorite characters return such as Jin, Yoshimitsu, King, and Paul Phoenix. There are also a handful of brand new characters. With next-gen graphics and a design focused on aggression, Tekken 8 has reasserted itself as one of the staple IPs in modern fighting games. For our final entry, let's look to the future, somewhere in the 42nd millennium to be a bit more precise. Humanity is struggling to survive, as an endless swarm of carnivorous aliens threatens to consume a planet protected only by a small force of woefully outmatched humans and a handful of gene-enhanced super-soldiers in power armor. This is the premise and setting of Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2. Players will get to step back into the ceramite-clad shoes of Titus, a space marine and one of humanity's most powerful tools against the horrors that stalk the galaxy. The first Space Marine title had you wielding chainswords and shooting bolters in third person, playing as a visceral incarnation of warfare. Just like the character Titus, the second game will have gone through some upgrades to bring Saber Interactive's vision into the next gen. 
In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. We won't have to wait that long as Space Marine 2 is set to release in 2024. And that was our list of the 12 hottest games in 2024. What were your favorites and are there any other hot games that come to mind? Do you feel the gameplay and enjoyability overcome controversy? Leave a like and let us know in the comments section below.